Okay, the valve's installed. And it came out the exactly as I measured it, 22 inches across with a four inch leg on the 90 degree. There you go. It's level. And yes, the old parts were wrong. The coupler, the coupler that they used, they had this one correct and the other one was upside down. So that was a problem the way they had it rigged up. Uh, they made a mess of it. So uh, I can see why they took the whole thing out, but the new one's in, it's in the off position. Now I'm not gonna charge the system up because that's not my specialty. But I already told the homeowner he just needs to hire an irrigation guy now to uh, you know, turn the whole system on, set his fields, and uh, get his timers and all that stuff because it's digital. I'm not going to mess with any digital systems. And uh, anyway, but there it is. That's installed. Plus two, I called him back up and asked me if he wanted me to put the shutter on. He goes, yeah, go ahead and do it. So that one on the right side up there was falling off during the big windstorm we had Monday. And that's been put in place. So there you go. All right, short little video. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done a job like this. I don't mess with backflows. But just after uh, looking at YouTube a couple of times, watching a few videos, all you have to do is have some basic uh, plumbing skills. And this is pretty easy work, straightforward. Took me two hours to build it and uh, just a few minutes to put it on. But it should work. Now, the only thing is, of course, I know I got it in the right direction. But that's where the irrigation guy comes in so he can make sure the system is pointed in the right direction and also too that everything is working so there we go well it looks like uh some things are getting back to normal again good big neighborhoods over here in heritage beautiful homes kind i'm used to working on okay Great. So that was a little handyman video there for you. One, part one, two, and three. I'll catch you guys later. Tom out of here.